what is going on everybody so last year roughly about last year or almost two years ago i ended up purchasing these pair of shoes here from amazon now i was looking for something that was low top or, or really low mid i was looking for something that was going to be comfortable something that i can use for walking uh and light running jogging or something like that something that was versatile that was going to be cost effective these met all of those um but i do want to say that there are some things about this that i don't like now i paid on amazon i paid roughly about 35 maybe close to 40 dollars for this shoe as well as maybe about five or six others in different colors i got a blue one a yellow one I ended up picking up a pair of uh, red ones as well. And I picked up a pair of mint green shoes as well. And they all, you know, were really nice. Like I said, I paid about 35 bucks for them. This is the black and white pair. I believe the name brand is Just So So. That's what I've been seeing online. Pretty comfortable, they're not too bad. But I will say that trying to actively um, run or be active in these, for a long period of time or for on a, on a consistent basis, it's not happening. These are more so cosmetic. Now, some of the other ones that they have may last a little bit longer. Some of the ones that I have that I picked up in different colors, they use different materials when making the, the sole and things like that. They use different materials when making the actual shoes. Some of them may fit a little snug, more snug than in comparison than the other ones. This one, if you look at the bottom, and the bottom on these is kind of wearing off really bad. Uh, a lot of these little spots here, if you can see on the bottom, a lot of these areas here are worn down really bad. So it's supposed to look like that, have like these little uh, ridges right here, but these worn down really bad. And on this one is worn down pretty bad. And just the material, is just sort of fraying and breaking away. And that bottom material, that grip is gonna be important when depending on what you're using this for. So far as the aesthetics, the shoe looks nice. The bottom is a nice design, had like this little uh, gloss, hard sort of uh, reinforced plastic sort of vibe and very nice design, slick, it's a slick shoe. I like it. I love the black with the bold white, uh, bold print, white letters. That's always my, my go-to. I love something like that because it, it can easily stand out. Very versatile shoe. You put a pair of black joggers on. Uh, you can easily rock these uh, black shorts, or maybe like a, a low cut black sock. You can easily rock these. Um, just a pair of sweats, you know what I mean? And this is even, I can easily wear these. I love the strap on the back here. Like I said, cosmetically, these look great. They are comfortable, but not if you're planning on running and actually doing something really active on a consistent basis, these will not these will not work for you. But if you're looking for a nice cosmetic shoe that you can rock, that's gonna be cheap, that's gonna look stylish and be comfortable when you're making, you know, little trips here and there, then you, you got a good one. It's not too bad. The price point ain't that bad. So the, the shortcomings are easily forgivable. But like I said, I was looking for something that I could actually be active in and this just wasn't it. I'll drop a link in the description when you can uh, find these on Amazon. So they got several different sellers that sell these. So it, you have to be careful. Uh, make sure you watch the size charts. Make sure you look out for that. Make sure you get in the proper size. But there will be some that make this and it will be a bit more snug. And there are some that make this where it's a bit loose. This is one of the shoes that fit me a little bit more loose. I know my red pair those were a lot more snug on my feet and it's cool but you know i feel like the wrong move and you know i could possibly uh you know turn this part here but like i said the this whole section here the material that is made from is not going to work for you outside running and moving around consistently and quickly it's not going to work for you and that material is going to wear down and i'm just a i was just a afraid that this was going to expose or this was going to come off or fold down like the old Reeboks used to do and um yeah other than that 
it's a great shoe. Like I said, cosmetically, if you're just looking at this shoe from the cosmetic standpoint, you got yourself a really nice shoe. Got a really nice design here. Some nice detail on here. And it just looks cool. You know, like I said, a nice slick black shoe. You got a nice little sole here with this really sort of weird design. It's difficult to clean inside of here. But other than that, it's, you know, cosmetically and just looking on the outside, it's more of a, a slip on style type of shoe. Just kind of slip on in there. Shoe strings, I, I barely even bother with the shoe strings. I rarely ever tie them or tighten them or anything like that. And like I said, I think the name of this brand is just so so, but they got so many things over here. I don't know if this is like, uh, I don't know if that's the name of the brand or not like a mesh sort of uh material for the shoe it's really nice and it's pretty comfortable kind of puts you in the mind of a, a a sporty sportier version of a yeezy or something like that really nice i'll leave it up to you guys whether you guys want to go ahead and pull the trigger on this shoe it's all it's all going to depend on what you're looking for and what your needs are these are priced around 35 40 bucks and maybe give or take i know some of the prices will go up and they'll change or go down I'll find where I actually picked it up from and drop that link into the description and you can check it out for yourself. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.